What's up, Squirrelsers? It's Nerp here, and today we are going to try to get my 3,000th win on my main account. I'm at 2,999 wins right now. Um, it's definitely nice to get the 3,000th win uh, before getting to 4,500 games. So I'll try to do that today, and I am going to play ranked. Uh, I am rank 1, so it might not be a wise decision to play when you're number 1. Um, but... Nick Dean, Donkey, a lot of people are just great players in the ladder. I mean, somebody's probably going to pass my rating by end of the week anyway, so I'm going to need to gain rating anyways to get number one again. So, I don't really mind playing right now. And I'm going to play Tempo Order. Uh, I, was th I was thinking about it, and I think Tempo Order might be a good fit for this meta, because I think Tempo Order it might be one of the few decks that actually has a good matchup against aggro, especially if you have like a couple Gaunt Defenders in there. Because your just wing shields are just so good, and then your skirmishers just destroy everything. So I'm gonna try this out, and uh, I'll see how it goes. Hopefully, I can get my 3,000th win in this video. I'll be back when a match is found. All right, found a match, and it is against Games Easy. Let's see if this game is easy for him. Uh, I like the agent at my starting hand, but I'd like like tempo order similar to ag growth. I want to have a like two into three drop in my hand. I think that's important. Having a definite play on turn two and turn three. Or round one and round three. And he is growth. I'm going to mulligan because I don't have a turn two or three play. And this time it looks really nice. I have a one, two, and three play. And now I have a choice here between Aging Knight and Crossbowman. Um, Aging Knight can play and I can flip anything he plays, but he pl can play a Brave and just kill and just kill a Crossbowman if I play it. That's why I'm going to play an Aging Knight because now he can't put a Brave in my in my path. Um, if I played a Crossbowman, it would just be he could put the Brave down and just deal two damage to it and kill it, or I would have to put a Duke and put it in front and he would do damage to that, or I would have to flip it away, so yeah, I'd rather just get this guy down, um, he's a warm body in the field, although he won't have quite as much damage output as the crossman, alright, he's gonna get poisoned, whatever, I'll get rid of the focus, get one extra tick of vital damage out, and hooray. So next turn I will get the wing chiller out. Hopefully I top deck a four drop soon. I did some editing with uh, this tempo order deck. I'm trying to test out tempo order stuff. Uh, I took out wings captains. I don't think they're that good. I never was really a fan of them after their huge nerf. Okay, there's grave hawk. Places it right in the middle. I'll just play a wing shield right in front of. Uh, my Duke Mitchum in this turn. Unless I top deck like a royal a royal uh Alright, we're gonna get rid of the flip. I think I'm gonna end up using a focus this turn. He's probably gonna play like a four drop in front. Hopefully it's not like a rat king we see. But I really wanted to get like another creature in here. So yeah. Be really nice to top deck a three drop or a two drop. Okay, well, I'm going to probably focus here. Take that down. But then I'm just staring this wildling in the face. Um. And then if he's an earthen mirth, he can kill it. Kill my wings, wings, uh, shield. I'm gonna get rid of the vanguard for scrolls. Hopefully, I get a two drop or a one drop. And unfortunately, I didn't. Um, I could actually just play the skirmisher. Use this. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna do it. I want the armor too. I'm not like afraid. Of what he's going to be able to do to me. He, only, he doesn't have that many resources, so he's only going to be able to earth and mirth one of them, which means the wing shield could die. But 
All right, yeah, I'd rather just get that skirmisher down and have double focus in waiting. Let's see if I can get some like a blessing of haste or rosa beam potion. Staghart and Staghart maybe? Staghart and Fjords is not going to be enough to take her down, so that's really nice for me. Uh, I'm going to be able to do well here. And I'm going to play the Relaros down at the bottom here. I'm not going to fish for scrolls like a Blessing of Haste. I don't really mind if I just lose this guy, and he would have to play like an Earthen Mirth to kill it. Yeah, you see how like Tempo Order is one of the only uh, decks that can really compete with Aggro Growth, because they have like a really early curve as well, and they but they have like the armor creatures like Wing Shield, Dial Defender, just really put them in their tracks, and then like Skirmishers are just like cheaper Great Wolves and stuff, so they're just awesome. Yeah, he's going to need to have 4 attack to be able to kill this wing shield. Doesn't look like he's going to have that. Unless he plays like 2 betters right now. Earthen Testament, he has nothing enchanted. Well, that was a waste of a scroll. Um, and... I'll get rid of a focus. Let's see. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That has 6. So I can use a focus to destroy... Or I could just use an Eternal Sword. I think I'm, I'm going to use an Eternal Sword. He's growth. Maybe I'll get quaked. I'd rather just get my creatures on the board right now. And I will move in. Luckily, none of my creatures are vulnerable to Kinfolk Veteran and stuff like that. It's a very, very solid start. I had a pretty great curve. I mean, after, actually, after the Wing Shield, didn't have a Forge Arm right away, so that wasn't the best, but it was alright. Um... He is like a more of an enchantment deck, so I don't really expect to see quakes. So I might just fill up the board here. I think I'm just gonna rush idols, yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna rush idols. I'll destroy the middle idol here. Uh, and I'm just gonna put down my creatures. I have two decimations in hand. I'm gonna play Vanguard next turn. I think I can finish this game up rather quickly. Okay. Yeah, it goes for scrolls. I don't think we're going to see any quakes or frost scales. There's a wild thing. And an Alon of its all. I, mean, I might just stay away from that altogether. It's not really bothering me. I could just win the game by hitting these idols. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Effigy of the Queen, I'm going to get rid of. Effigy of the Queen is really only good against energy, but it's great against energy because. Uh, you, um, these are like protected against burns, sparks, and thunder stages and stuff like that. But against other factions, it's really just like a wall. It's an obelisk with one health, one less health. All right, this is Stagger. He already played a Stagger before, so I know that's not going to be extremely bad. He's not going to have two more stack hearts until the next deck cycle, or like he gets an Earthworm Mystic out. I doubt it. All right, so this is one of those enchantment decks, and it looks like. He's not going to be able to get the whole thing off. Uh, Desi, I guess I'll get rid of the Desi. Roasted Bean Potion. I'm just going to play the Roasted Bean Potion and see what happens here. I'm not really going to think too much about my turn. Is this game? Oh yeah, it's game easy. I, I don't even have to decimation that idol. GG. Uh, he didn't exchange a greeting, then I guess he won't want us to see me say GG. Uh oh, I think we played something really low rated. Yeah, we gained plus one rating from that. Um, well, that's my 3,000th victory. But I don't feel like that was like a high quality match for you guys to see because my opponent was not on a level that I was. So. We're going to try for 3,001 in this video as well. So we're going to get the double action in today's ranked match video. So stay tuned. Alright, found our second ranked match of the video. Copperfield. Copperfield. Alright, good luck, have fun, sir. And this is a okay starting hand. I have a play on turn 2. I have a play on turn 3, although it is not like a resource efficient play. 
And then I have Relaros on turn 4. Alright, this made it a good hand. Wing Shield against Growth, perfect. Um, so I can get rid of one of the Wing Soldiers. Decimation is also nice for its growth because uh, they have, like, vetters that you can just snipe with it. Huh. So, I would rather have a, um... Alright, there's a Kinfolk Brave. He's going to be a problem if I... If he does, if he like engages me and has like an earth and earth for the wing shield, we'll see. All right, hopefully he doesn't move down. But uh, he would he probably is going to move down. I mean, he could be afraid of like a busting of haste. Come on, don't move down, don't move down. Stay right where you are, sir. Nice. Okay, so yes, we might be giving him a center idol, but we need time to build up, and there is that. You know what? We're just gonna, uh, I think it's gonna be better if I have the AG Knight and get rid of the big Vanguard this turn. We're just gonna decimate this whole row. Take advantage of the opportunity to hurt them all. Um, because this coming turn, we can still get two creatures down with the Wing Shield and the Aging Knight. So, that may, hopefully it screwed up his curve because maybe he was waiting on playing a five drop this turn and now he doesn't have anything to play, hopefully, that'd be nice. Yep. See, killing somebody's Vetter is not only killing the Vetter, it messes up their curve. Uh, this turn, I'm going to... I want to get the Skirmisher out. As cool as the Wing Shield is, I think I want to get the Skirmisher out. So, let's do that. I'm going to actually get rid of the... Relaros. Might be surprising. I mean, Relaros is really good, don't get me wrong, but I think people overrate him. I don't consider him like OP in a sense that Earthworm Mystic is OP. He's a good Cyril, but not like amazing. Alright, Strike Fang Bear is a problem for us. He is quite strong. Alright, let's get another Decimation, please. I want to kill that Brave. Uh, roasted Bean Potion. If I had a Focus, that'd be nice. I'm going to get rid of the Roasted Bean Potion. I want to keep these creatures in hand. Alright, there's a Relaros. I'm going to get the Wing Shield down. And... I'll play an Aging Knight right here. So I'm gonna like bait him down. He can move down and kill the Aging Knight, but then I'm gonna have this guy. <laughs> and uh, people are scared of skirmishers, believe me. But that could, this could be bad if uh, he comes down with his bear and then I have nothing to kill it with. Okay, so he moves up with his bear, so I'm very happy with that. That's like the best thing I want him to do. Like staying in the middle, just that kind of locks me. Moving up, it's just nice. Alright, so he just moves up with everybody. I'm going to be able to kill this Brave. Um, but now he's going to be able to hit these top idols kind of quickly. So I'm going to need to get Pothers and Flips to bring them towards me quite soon. I'll get rid of the Aging Knight now. Um, I'll go ahead and... Kill that. Uh, I'll move about. And I guess we're just going to play Rallaraz this turn. And um, he took that middle idol, so, but my board is more sustainable than his, so we need flips to move down that bear. I mean, he didn't take down two idols yet, and he doesn't have creatures attacking, like, every single turn. He doesn't have any one cat -town creatures on the board, so I don't feel too bad. Alright, another bear. Alright, this is like an order player's nightmare. I think we'll be okay, though. Let's get a gallant defender or something. Takes two bear hits to get rid of. Alright, so he is... Going straight for the idol there. Um, so we are going to... Let me get rid of the... I mean, I, I actually could just win the game kind of quickly if I focus on the idol. So maybe I want to keep the decimation. But it's I think it's more important to keep the... I don't know. We have Relar, so I don't think we're going to need the Eternal Sword. Flip. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to have to do the flip ducal to kill this bear. So, how do I want to do this? First of all, I want to move up with everybody. Not everybody, but I'm going to do some movement up here. So, I'm going to flip you. So, that gives you three attack. And then... You're going to have four attack. Alright, that was good. And now I have two creatures coming up, up, uh, coming up top. Dude, a power of wing shield versus growth. I really don't have a 
play against it unless they have an earthen earth. If they have an earthen earth on an early brave, then you might be screwed. Your wing shield or your defender might be gone. But if they don't have an earthen earth, you might be in good shape. Especially because their only like their only play to move it out of the way is Rumble. And that is so inconsistent. Okay, Rally. Rally just deals two damage to my wing shield. And sure that I don't really I, I I don't I'm happy he did that rally. Okay, so now I'm gonna win this game kind of soon. But first we have to make sure we can kill these bears. Uh, every spell I play is going to get an increased attack from other guys. I have to play. Okay, so I can. I really just need to play the blessing of haste. I'm gonna get rid of the focus. All right, I guess we're just gonna play a blessing of haste here. So that is going to be enough to kill them. You can just kill that. Now let's play a wing soldier right here. Uh, sure. So that we have nothing that's able to be veteraned. Actually, yeah, actually the wing shield is able to be veteraned right now. Because it's armor too, it decreased three damage to one damage, which would kill it. But uh, we're good. This is how you play scrolls. Just you need you need three idols destroyed to win. You can't stop it too. So, yeah. But that great wolf is kind of scary. I might just use my flip right now to get rid of it. I could actually go flip decimation to get rid of it right now. So I'm, I'm kind of worried about it. So I might actually do that. You're, you, I can get you three attack to four attack, and then I, I can use decimation. I can get you to three, four. Yeah, I'll just do it like that. Sure, why not? I'll get rid of you as soon as I can. So I don't need to use this Duke on the Tree then if I'm using a decimation also. So you can die. And this idol is gonna be left open. Actually, no, nah, I can't I can't afford to leave it open. And he is surrendering. So GG. He rises, he has no chance at the rest of the game. So that'll be it. Um, what was this guy rated? Alright, not too bad. So I got some decent rating from that. Alright, well that'll be it for today guys. You saw me get win number 3000 and win number 3001 with Tempo Order. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe for more content, and I guess I'll see you next time. Keep on scrolling, scrollgers.